shoulders have always been a strong point of mine, perhaps because of all the years I spent swimming as a kid and growing up. And I found myself as a teenager with really broad shoulders, despite the fact that I was quite slim everywhere else. So for me, it's always been like a huge reward training shoulders because I always had great results and um, I felt always strong. The shoulders are important uh, because your arm is attached to your body through the shoulder. So the strength of your arm is dictated by the solidity of your shoulder. Anything you lift with your arm really goes through your shoulders. Also, shoulders are a very important aesthetic feature. Um, I mean, 30 years ago, men and women alike used to have padded clothes to emphasize this feature. Now the solution is working out. And in fact, the quality of somebody's workout really is revealed by the definition of the shoulders. Like for any other muscle group, a good strategy to build uh, the mass on your shoulders is to begin your workout with a big compound move. In this case, the most classic move for the shoulder is the barbell shoulder press or military press. This exercise is fundamental and in general I have three fundamental exercises for building mass on the shoulder. So the military press performed in front of you, the um, military press or the shoulder press behind your neck which isolates more of your front delt uh, and eliminates the involvement of the upper chest which is involved when doing the normal military press. And also another great exercise is the upright row. The upright row was the favorite exercise of Steve Reeves, a bodybuilder which I always looked up to. Um, he had the classic physique and the, his favorite way of building the shoulder was the upright row. He would begin his workout with that. It's very important to begin your workout with these exercises and then follow up with other exercises with, uh, which I consider good for definition. Uh, like the lateral raises, the bent over raises and in general it's good to do these exercises really go until you burn. I think this is because of the different nature of the shoulder muscle. Most muscle contract uh, linearly so you have striations in your muscles and as this shorten your muscle contract but the shoulder is slightly different because the muscle fibers contract not linearly, but by twisting. So you can imagine, you know, if you're sort of twisting a towel, this shortens, right? And it's the same thing. And I feel because of this particular action of the muscle fiber, um, the muscle fatigues in a different way. I always find that I can go way past the burning sensation and do a few more reps. So these are the sort of quick tips for shoulder workout.